I used to sit in my window down there, um, second and what? Second and what is it, Ravalli? Oh, Ravalli in Hamilton, yeah. Yeah, I'd look out the window and I'd watch all the people go by. And no matter how many days went by or how many weeks went by, I still, I still felt like a newcomer. Have you made friends here in the rest home? Well, I don't get I don't get out inside hardly at all. I get out with Kathy's coming over to the Safeway. And Safeway looks like Bay's though. The Bay's where they had everything stuffed together and it was all for making money. Yeah. And there's a guy here named Bob Bay. Robert Bay. And I bet you anybody it's the brother to that guy that ran that shore store. Yeah. Nice band. So, how about telling us who your sisters? Who are your sisters? Who are my sisters? Yeah. What? What? what well, there was Mary. Yeah. And she died. Yeah. And uh, Buddy, he died when he was forty-nine. And um, Leona, she's in California. My brother Jack and Frank. And Rosalie. Rosalie. Rosalie had that big, like, uh, Brookie head, you know, that cancer thing. And uh, she was up in Lake Washington. Or up at uh, Vancouver. And I guess she was up there visiting Julie or somebody. But she found out that she had that big. And, and somebody told me she weighs 178 pounds. I think it was my brother Jack told me. But I don't know how she's getting along now. Because that's what Brookie had. Yeah. Well. I saw Brookie at Mr. Mortensen's funeral. And she was so little and she looked so defenseless. But she's gone now. She's cremated over in Washington. She wanted to be cremated where she loved it. Country, it was over in Washington. I thought it was strange they didn't come back here to their property, Timmy and Anita's property, because there was 17 acres there. They got that up for sale, yeah. 250000 What were they paying for it? Oh, I don't know, Mom. You've always felt it's pretty important to own your own home, haven't you? Haven't you felt that? What? They, haven't you always felt it's important to own your own, own home? I've always thought that. I talked to your father to buy it our house. Well, why did you think that way? I always felt that way. I was told by a woman in Queen of Angels that your security is at owning a home. And you agreed with that? I think it's pretty good, Sally. But you own yours? Yeah. Yeah. I learned an awful lot of good things from my mother. My mother is a wonderful woman. Well, what was she like, Mom? Huh? What was she like? She was a doll. She was always laughing and tittered and giggling. And when she'd start singing this kind of a, a little voice, you know, she'd sing songs that she liked. And she'd uh, run around, do her housework and sing, and singing. And we'd be laughing like hell at her, you know, because she had this little voice. And uh, and I'd sing with the opera on the, on the radio. And my father would tell her, shut, that, shut up that caterwauld. <laughs> <laughs> and when we were in bed at night, we'd be fighting, and he'd tell, me, tell us to stop the fighting or he'd throw us out. See, the three of us slept in the one bed in the back bedroom. And uh, here, just Dan, Danny, or Jeremy, just now, recently bought a brass bed for three bucks. We had a brass bed, they were beautiful beds. And I, I, he's he's going to polish it with something. But he bought it for his two girls because they only had a mattress to sleep on. Well, was your two mattresses? Was your mom pretty tough? Was a pretty tough disciplinarian? Mama? Yeah. You couldn't have asked for anybody You're so easy going with my mother. She was so darling. Well, how did she make you do your chores? She just told us to get them done. We do. She'd go out on Saturday to go get Daddy's paycheck. Say, have this house clean when I come back, or else. And uh, so we'd wash the walls and scrub the floors and 
whatever we have to be in the mood to do. And then when she come home, she'd be real happy to bring us candy, bring us something, you know. We always loved those cord candies. She'd bring a bag of those or something. What's a cord candy, Mom? Cord, the corn candy is oh. the yellow and white one. Oh, okay. Orange and white and yellow. They look like little corn things. Yeah. Well, was your mom the disciplinarian in the oh, house? she was darling. But who made you do things, your mom or your dad or anybody? I would say, do it or I'll tell your father. And I did my own disciplining, as you know. Danny and Jeremy told me how, how I used to walk. Built the, I, I think, though, I wouldn't hit him too hard. I'd make sure they got a good wall up with the belt. And so I, I'd say to them, do this, that, and that. They wouldn't do it. I'd just say, if you don't, I'll hit you with the buckle. <laughs> but anyhow, Danny and Jeremy informed me that they would get in the bedroom. Danny and Mary and Jeremy both would get in the bedroom. And he, Danny'd say to Jeremy, you better make a lot more noise or she'll be in here hitting us again. <laughs> <laughs> they were fucking... They were sure cute kids, though. Good kids. Well, do you remember the time your dad got you a doll? Some dolls, you and Mary and Leona? My dad? Yeah. Yeah. What was that all about? Daddy worked for the newspaper and had to get a whole, whole bunch of subscriptions to the Montana Standard to get the dolls. Was it a prize or something? Yeah, to be do just for Christmas. Uh -huh. And uh, he worked like a dog getting rid of the, get the, the certificates to get the dolls. And we <laughs> well, I named mine Blue Rose, and Le Mary or Leona had a yellow rose and a pink rose. That was our dolls. And Buddy, I don't know, but I think Buddy tried to talk there. I'm not positive this, this might be a lie. But I don't know, but I think Pat, Buddy did something to those dolls. He either cut their heads off or did something. Pulled a leg off or something, because something happened to the blue and the yellow or the pink rose. Was that during the Depression? Yeah. Daddy worked awful hard. And he worked, he was, a, they call him a, a slave driver when he was on the WPA working for that. And they had the, the WPA during the war. Yeah. During the and depression. And he was the boss. And he made the, the guys would be laid on the shovels and take it easy. He'd tell them to get to work there, get paid for it. And they all called him a slave driver. But he figures, he says, you're getting, you're getting paid for work and you damn well better get to work. They'd go to sleep by the shovels he would. Now he drove cab, didn't he? Yeah, he drove cab. Too. For which company? Daddy, f huh? Which company did he, who, who did he drive cab for? City. City cab? Dobnik to Daddy's. Yeah. Then after Dobnik died, I don't know who it was. Coley Kelly, maybe, or? Oh, Coley Kelly, yeah. Yeah. He drove cab for a lot of years? Oh yeah, because you know, when he, they were building the Butte High School, he fell off the uh, scaffolding or something and fell out the middle of his back, and one leg, one foot got shorter than the other, and he had a lot of pain with his back, but he always worked real hard. Yeah. And I remember those guys out there, and I could remember Daddy going over to get Grandma when I had the whoop and cough. That's why I wondered if I had an out-of-body experience. Because I was up in the air looking down and he was in his long johns running across the street to grab him. Sounds like it could have been, doesn't it? His buddy and I both had whooping cough real bad. Well, you said you were born with a call over your face and that the Irish thought that might mean you have a sixth sense. Did you ever feel that you had a sixth sense? That you had? I, I do a lot of pipe treatment. You know what I mean? Like the Indians to try to eat that, eat that, what is it? Coyote or something. Coyote, yeah. Whatever they have. I can lay here and dream about things and think about what's going to happen. But um, I don't think it's anything like that. Yeah. But I can wait for these to take, I can think something will happen. And then it can, can, I keep watching it to see if it's going to happen the way I think it's going to. Yeah. So that might be something like that, I don't know. 